Hey guys, welcome back for another vlog for Working Wisdom Wednesday. I'm going to keep this very brief, but I want to share some thoughts with you guys. So I was thinking this week, I was like, you know, when it comes to business and branding and finding your purpose, like things that you just feel passionate about and what you want to do, like what, what you want to spend your life doing for the rest of your life, if possible. It's so important to kind of look at you know what are you good at asking yourself that question because a lot of times what we do is we try to do a lot of everything and that doesn't work I can speak from experience <laughs> I was a you know I got my master's in mental health counseling and then about three maybe yeah about two months after graduating my master's in mental health counseling I got my license in real estate <laughs> so I became a real estate broker and I'm kind of at it and um, I had already been doing like modeling and things of that sort and um, you know just I don't know I just start trying out a lot of different stuff and then there's that saying you know you don't want to be a, a what is it a jack of all trades but a master of none or something like that I don't know but something like that and I just somebody told me that one day and I, they weren't talking about me, but they were just sharing that, that concept. And I thought, you know what? Let me figure out what I'm really good at. Um, the interesting thing is, I'm really good at a lot of stuff. Like, I can do a lot. Like, because I'm a quick learner, I can figure stuff out. I can learn very quickly. However, our purpose is that thing that just, you can't not do it. It's just in you. And I think it's important to just understand, like, what are you just extremely good at? Something that's just so natural that you could really do it in your sleep. And once you figure what that, once you figure that out and understand what that is, you can go to the highs of highs. Like there is. So overall, I encourage everyone to find out what your expertise is, or find out what you're really good at, and develop that and create that into an expertise. So let's say you're really good at talking to people <laughs> right and helping people figure out you know solutions to problems so that may be you could be a mental health counselor you could be a coach you could be a minister depending on you know the type of you know which route you want to go um there's so many avenues let's say you're just really good at creating content you're just very creative you could be a social media strategist you could be a graphic designer that's so many areas but the main point and the main focus and the first priority is to figure out what you're good at and really like jot those characteristics down jot those things down and, and, and narrow down to certain careers and then become an expert at it and with, the way you become an expert at anything is to study that as a craft so you know take on um, different workshops or you know study under someone who's been, who's been in that field for years um really master the craft learn as much as possible about it and then you can monetize it and make it and turn it into a brand in a business and that's how you get out of doing things that you're really not passionate about and you're only doing them just to make money and to survive nobody wants to live that kind of life i hate that like i hate that for anybody i was um at a restaurant not too long ago and I saw this guy and I just kept watching him because I, I got this certain vibe that he was kind of embarrassed and I just thought you know I wish I could just walk up to him and ask him like what is it you really want to be doing and I just have that in my heart like I, I love helping people fulfill their purpose because I thank God every day that I know and I knew early on what my purpose was I know so many people struggle with that they don't they still don't know they're 50 60 70 years old and they never figured out what their purpose was and why they were sent to you know on this earth and so when I see someone struggling with that it really touches me because I I didn't have that issue um it was more about you know not having the resources sometimes to implement that and that's a whole nother story it's a whole nother situation but when you walk this earth and you don't even know what you want to do or you don't know what you were meant to do here that is like it's so heartbreaking it's, it's I wouldn't wish that on anybody so for me at the core of who I am at the core of what I do and and my purpose on this work is to help people find their purpose and fulfill it and 
anyone around me, they'll tell you, my friends will tell you, like, don't tell me what you want to do because I'm, I'm going to hold you too. I'm going to hold you accountable. I'm going to ask you a hundred times, like, what have you done to make that happen? What's stopping you? What can I do to help you get to the next level? Like, I'm not going to let you sit around and just wander just aimlessly. Like, I'm not going to do it. You can't work dead end jobs around me and not be fulfilling your purpose unless that's what you want to do. If that's your purpose and you're operating in your purpose, absolutely. And it has nothing to do whether with whether you're working in your own business or you're working for someone. That has nothing to do with purpose because maybe your purpose is being fulfilled. Maybe you are a graphic designer at a large um, firm that does that. So the main point is you want to spend the rest of your life doing exactly what you love and exactly what God put you here for. So anyway, find your expertise, find your purpose, and I will see you guys next week for Working Wisdom Wednesday. See you soon.